Hi, this is Brian Fitzgerald with Dolt Hub, and today we're going to talk about why we think Dolt is the database for dummies. So, um, a fun play on um, a classic uh, series. Um, so, with that, we're going to walk through why, how you can copy and paste your database with Dolt, um, the undo button, how you can track your changes, um, similar how you would in like a Google Sheets or Google Document. Um, and also one where you can indulge the video database where you can uh, phone a friend. For those of you that are new to Dolt, Dolt is like my sequel and Git had a baby. So uh, what does that mean? Dolt implements all the version control and sharing of a Git repository. So think things like branch, merge, fork, clone, um, diff, and, and log, all available natively uh, in your Dolt database. And then we also have our own version of the MySQL dialect to uh, query the database. So anywhere that you're running a MySQL uh, type database, you'd be able to drop in Dolt um, as a replacement for it, spin up like a SQL server, connect your applications to it, um, and get all the power of Dolt. It's in our ability to, to diff, branch, clone, merge, um, all in your regular database. Great, so let's first walk through um, why we think that Dolt is the database that you can copy and paste. So right now I'm on Dolt Hub and I am looking at our Shack uh, database that was built through one of our data bounties. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that uh, you can get this copy yourself. So first, if you're running Dolt Hub or Dolt Lab uh, locally on your own uh, network, you're able to just very quickly fork the database. So right here, confirm fork um, and once this is completed I will now have a copy of the database for myself on Dolt Hub. All right great so now we can see here instead of on the Dolt Hub account I'm now onto my own account here on Dolt Hub uh, with the database. I'm also able to copy this locally to my machine so I just come here to clone copy this pull up the command line paste the instructions, and we'll start cloning that locally. All right, so we successfully downloaded Shack. I can uh, set the changes directory to it, and just to show you what we have. There we go. So we've now mirror mirrored uh, what we have on Dolt Hub here uh, locally. So now, um, really, you can think of, you know, the dumbest um, commits and changes you want to make to the database just to test something out, drop tables, add data, really do whatever you want with this. You can now do all this locally, run it against your application just to see how it reacts, and you're not going to hurt your production environment in any way. Also, with the Git like um, pull and push request here, you can make these changes. And once you're okay with what you've done, you can actually just paste those to your production database or upload them up to Dolt Hub um, by doing uh, Dolt Push. As I'm sure you can imagine, uh, check out our documentation and some of our other videos to see how that works. So now let's imagine, um, you know, let's, now let's talk about how Dolt is the database where you can undo. Let's imagine that you do, um, one of those one of those crazy updates to your database and you you drop one of your your main tables so i just dropped the table teams and just to show you that it is gone there All right, great. So we've just dropped, or not great, we've just dropped teams uh, from our main database. So with Dolt, it's easy to get that table back and we can do it um, a variety of ways. One, um, we actually haven't committed any changes to the database yet. So if you did something like that and you catch it as a human, you know you made a mistake, you can um, just do Dolt reset. and that will revert back to the previous state of the database. 
So as long as you don't commit any of those changes, you're able to revert back um, just by doing that dolt uh, reset command. Also, uh, the other option is if you do commit something to the database, dolt is actually going to provide a history of every commit. So you're going to be able to come in here, run dolt log, and we can just pick out a previous commit, create a new branch from that, and update and get, get our previous st uh, state of the database back. So next we're gonna explore how dolt is a database that can help with tracking changes. So you can do dolt diff on the command line between different commits. Uh, if I do this now, it's actually not gonna show anything because there's nothing uh, staged or changed. Um, but let's go over to dolt hub too, just to check out how it looks there. So here we can go to the commit log and pick any one of these older commits and actually see down to the cell level what rows they have at it. And we'll also give you a diff overview, um, taking a look at how it affected um, all the tables in the database. So you'll have it down to the row level where you track schema changes uh, too. So that's just an example of how you can do it on Dolt Hub. It's also really easy to do on the command line. So before we had taken a look at the logs here, so we can just basically pick out two commits. Um, and I'm gonna do one from the past and take a look at the, the head. So that is gonna run this diff query for us. So this, um, not going to be super useful in this format to take a look at it. But once this is done running, we can also run a summary of this too. All right, great. So that's done running. Now let's just take a look at what the, the summary of this data would look like as well. Cool. So now Dolt has very quickly calculated uh, the diffs between two different versions of the database at two points in time to show you um, what cells and what tables have changed between uh, different two different commits. And this can get as detailed as you need it to be down to the cell level and then even having commit messages in here so you know what's being updated. So if you're running nightly jobs or importing data monthly, you can go back to specific points in time um, wherever you need to go. Cool, so now the final use case we're gonna take a look at is Dolt is the database where you can phone a friend for help. So to do that, we're gonna pop over to um, our open bounty on the US jails. If you're not familiar, Dolt runs, uh, or Dolt Hub runs data bounties where we have a competition for scrapers to pull together uh, data off of the internet to uh, basically seed uh, our, our Dolt databases. And what that highlights is this great pull request workflow and peer review that you can have. So what our data bounty um, hunters do is they collect the data, they get it into their adult database, and they submit a pull request to have it reviewed by our bounty admin, uh, Spacelove. And after he reviews that, he gives them feedback on notes if we can merge it into the database. And if it's good to go, he just merges it in. So if we've if we jump into an example, so we take a look at Ed, Texas County Jails. Um, our bounty hunter left some good notes here on why I think it might violate some of the rules of the, the bounty. Um, then our bounty admin came in there, left some comments, went to reviewing why they think we can allow it, uh, and merged it in the main. But this just kind of gives you an example of how you can leave notes for your changes to the database, um, get help with your SQL queries, what you're adding, and add peer review to it so you make sure, so you feel good about what you're adding and you're adding in a system of checks and balances. And so we'll end it uh, today there, but this is just kind of one of the reasons we think that uh, you know, Dolt just makes databases easier to use and a little more uh, foolproof and give, give access to anyone give uh, anybody in your organization access to, to the database so they can make changes, test out their own applications and uh, share data more easily. If you want to see more or you have questions or different use cases, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, feel free to hit us on Discord or send us an email. Have a great day.